produce a half point once the foot is inside the shoe. In the course of study for beginners that follows, I recommend that the exercises should be taught one or two at a time at the end of bar work and during a normal class. This work should not be given until a child is between 11 and 12 years of age and as the pupil gains strength throughout the whole body, through the spine, the legs and insteps, the quantity of exercises may be gradually increased. I lay great emphasis on the slowness of execution, as shown in the film, so that strength and good placement will be developed by the pupil. An exercise that is too fast will only cause mental panic and muscular trauma, which is always counterproductive in tra training. The work for beginners should be applied at the teacher's discretion, and it will probably take a year to achieve good results in this basic work. It is assumed that the pupil already knows how to rise and lower through the three positions of the foot. Through the quarter, the half, and to the three quarters, without point shoes on. Now it is necessary to add the fourth position, full point. The dancer has gone too far in the position in her shoe. She has now corrected it and she will lower through those four positions. It is harder for a young child to rise to full point than to return from it slowly. This exercise, therefore, being the first, only requires the lowering through the positions of the foot from full point. The next exercise is a progression of the last one. The rise is shown in one beat to help the pupil to pull up to the full point without strain, and the pause at the top helps to establish the full placement on point before lowering in two beats.
This is a relaxing exercise after the last two quite difficult ones for a beginner. At no time does the pupil stand on point. The two feet meet in a three-quarter position. To enable the pupil to show this exercise well, the fifth position on point must be explained clearly. The effect should look as if there is one toe and two heels showing when facing the audience. When sideways, the toes should not be touching but a little bit apart. And when she is in fifth position, the same effect, two heels and one set of toes. She should not jump on point but the floor should be sacked up into this position and a slight spring to return to the floor. The action for both legs consists of stepping in fifth on alternate feet and flexing the knees at the same time.
there should be a rumbling sound like thunder so that both feet can be heard to be working alternately and equally. Later, the sound should be hardly heard and the action remains the same. In this action, the width of the échappé in second position should not be shown too wide. At the teacher's discretion and according to the length and shape of the pupil's legs, it should be established as a width to suit the child. If too wide in the second position, it can be too great a strain on the pelvis and the lower back. To establish a good position in fourth quasi on point, the pupil should stand with her back to the bar and place her foot in fourth opposite fifth. She should then step forwards and back into fifth. The next section of the film is designed for pupils between the ages of 12 and 13 years of age. But it is up to the teacher's judgment, for children develop strength at different rates. You will see as the work progresses, exercises that are given at the bar and then are shown in the centre. However, a note of warning, none of the exercises away from the bar should be attempted until all those at the bar have been mastered. It is essential to introduce each exercise to the pupil gradually and over a period of time, and never to attempt to cover all the work in one lesson.
We will now analyse the movements of the feet in this new step and see how they turn the pupil from side to side on the bar. Debbie makes a relevé in fifth position. She stands on her right foot and places her left foot in first position, but continues with her weight on the right foot so that she makes a quarter turn to her left, placing the left foot in a fifth position and a springs down. The same movement is shown turning to her right. In the following exercise, further emphasis is made of the fifth position on point, since the whole exercise starts and finishes on point. The action of the working leg to the knee for the retiri position should be sharp and placed firmly on the floor in fifth position in an accurate placement. In the next exercise, note the sharp coupe derriere to the retiri position, which is also sharp. She changes her weight in a small pose at a second with another retiri and makes a soft landing through the left foot in a fondue. 